I started working on this exhibition before the pandemic, and I had become very interested in looking across the world to see that people were protesting in many different places for a variety of purposes. And I wanted to speak to an American audience about protest, but not in the typical way that we often talk about it in relationship to American history. I wanted to open that lens, and I thought the university was a perfect place for us to start thinking more broadly about the role of protest, and protest as almost an institution that is extra-governmental, but puts pressure on governments to make changes, normally for civil rights, economic benefits, and to be a space where anyone can join. I was particularly interested in working with artists who were taking their own experiences in protests, then sort of thinking through it within their own aesthetic and artistic practice. I started thinking about protest itself is about recuperation. It's about recuperation of civil rights, recuperation of that which maybe you never had as a right, or recuperation of your health um, because you're living in a polluted situation. So the protest itself becomes a recuperation. I'm particularly interested in the confluence of creativity and art and design and how those expressive strategies help elevate the protest. But it's also the digital circuits, the circulation of images and ideas that flood social media and the internet more generally. In this exhibition, we've been experimenting with new technologies because the artists understand that we are sort of in a space now where we can access technology and put it to our own uses, that it's not only a negative surveillance technology and then re-inscribe it with a sense of hope. We really spent a lot of time thinking, what can we add to this conversation? What new conversations can we create through the exhibition itself and through the relationship between artworks that you only can see within the space? So by expanding from lens-based work, which is dominating our visual recognition, and understanding of what protests look like by using painting, printmaking, drawing, photography, sculpture, augmented reality, flash photography. We can open up new pathways and new channels for thinking about how art and aesthetic approaches to art can be beneficial for us to think differently about the value of both protest and recuperation.